I hope you're joking, Sir Christopher. Um, I'd, I'd like to thank the Sun newspaper for uh, flagging up this debate today and their agony aunt Deirdre Saunders with their Let's Sort It Out for the Children campaign. So let's sort it out for Louis, aged eight, who said, My mum and dad spend so much time hating each other, they don't have time to love me. And for Shakira, aged 14, who says, When she picks up her phone and sighs and rolls her eyes, I know it's my dad. I'd pay a lot of money to stop that. She forgets that I love my dad too, and I'm stuck right in the middle. Now, I agree very much with what was said earlier on in the, the debate, that the mums are bearing the brunt of so much of this ghastly COVID pandemic. And the fact is that we've got too many mothers out there forced to do everything by themselves. Those mothers are doing a heroic job, often under very trying circumstances, and they deserve a lot of credit. But they shouldn't have to do it alone as often as they do. And raising children is the most important job in the country, and it's all of our responsibilities as mothers and fathers. And as President Obama said in his 2010 Father's Day address, our children don't need us to be perfect, but they do need us to be present. They need us to show up and give it our best shot. And too many fathers are missing from too many lives and too many homes. They've abandoned their responsibilities and acted like boys, not men. We need fathers to realise that responsibility doesn't end at, con at conception. What makes you a man is not the ability to have a child, it's the courage to raise one, and then enjoy the most rewarding and joyful experience of being a father. So a third of children are going to see their parents split up before they're 16, and one and a quarter million children are exposed to conflict between their parents. Now, efforts to support healthy relationships between parents are so vital, and we know that children benefit from loving parents and strong, loving, and respectful marriages and relationships as well. We pass on empathy and kindness by living it. You're not strong by putting others down, but by lifting them up. And that's why the work that Patrick Myers is doing at the, work, at the Department for Work and Pensions is so important with his Reducing Parental Conflict Programme. Why the members of the Relationships Alliance relate to Tavistock Relationships, Marriage Care, and One Plus One, the work they do is so vital the marriage course, the pre-marriage course, the work of Jonathan and Andrea Taylor Cummings, and many others.